Breaking news tonight and hearts have signalled their intention to enter administration. After months of speculation about the future of the club, administrators are expected to be appointed within the next 24 hours. Up there on the hearts badge, it says 1874, the year the club was founded. Now, 139 years later, its very existence is in doubt with administration being confirmed earlier this afternoon. The over, overriding thought was, was sadness. Although it was kind of expecting it, it was, it was a, an over sort of overwhelming feeling of, of sadness. The situation in Herted was, you know, depressing all round for everybody and it was a bit of a shock to me as well. What we inherited was £7,000 in the bank, uh, months of years of wages and 7,000 season tickets sold, but all the money totally gone. So it wasn't a great start. I think like every other supporter, I was a bit concerned with everything that was going on in the run-up to administration. We had to sell 3,000 season tickets within 14 days just to keep the doors open. I obviously had to make brutal cuts, which everybody knows about, uh, and I had no choice in that to try and save the club. Uh, and the fans totally rallied round. And I knew there was a great fan base which encouraged me to take the job. After administration, there was uh, there was a huge rally and cry uh, from all part supporters to you know to put money into the club to try and keep the club going. Like time and time again, the heart supporters have been asked to put their hands in their pockets to, to help the club, and uh, and they did that time after time. In 2010, after growing concerns about the, from the fans about the way the club was being run, five businessmen, including myself, created the Foundation of Hearts with the hope that one day we could take the club into fans' ownership. In 2013, when Hearts went into administration, we realised that aim with the help of Anne Budge, who lent the club 2.5 million and 8,000 fans who were making monthly contributions to the club. I knew they were doing it for the right reasons, or I believed they were doing it for the right reasons. Uh, nobody was in it for personal gain. I had a much, much clearer understanding of the passion that was behind a lot of the people who were trying to actually effectively save the club. The most significant factor that was that Anne, Anne was part of the Foundation of Hearts from the early stages. She, she's a heart supporter and uh, she gets it, she understands it. With the club surviving and Anne buying the club out of administration, then there was a sort of, everybody could take a deep breath and, and really start you know, try to push forward. To go on and have the season that, uh, that we did was just, just fabulous. I think it was almost like a snowball going down the hill, you know, we're gathering momentum, you know, the supporters very early on bought into the uh, season tickets, which was amazing. And, uh, you know, the Foundation of Hearts contributions continued to be strong and have improved since then. It's obviously been amazing. Um, clearly surpassed anything that any of us, I think, uh, expected. So just terrific to see the stadium full every match day and to see the, the pride that's back in the supporters um, and to be able to actually give give them something back for their support because, you know, it's almost been a terrific way of saying thank you. Well, the loyal backing of the supporters the foundation continues to grow and is on course to be the majority shareholder by 2019. As a direct debit, it's the one that you look forward to coming out your bank account uh, every single month. I think it proves almost without the shadow of a doubt that the heart supporters are the best supporters, certainly in Scotland. Um, they just rally time and time again. Their passion, their Belief and uh, pride, I guess, in the history of the club is second to none. There is only one team in Edinburgh, and that's a heart of it, Logan. So, you know, whether it's pledgers, season ticket holders, any form of supporters, um, I think they're just amazing. Now I think it's, a, it's an opportunity for 
all of us who, who run in the club to, to make sure it's run properly and, and protect the fans' money. When we set the foundation up, the whole ethos that we wanted to take forward was that everyone would contribute to the club and not taking anything, anything out, which wasn't the case in, with the previous owners. You know, there's a, a lot of people watching what we're doing. Um, I think there's still a lot of people who feel, um, you know, it isn't going to work. Uh, but our job is just to prove that. Can I make myself believe it? Is this the place we could go? I know I barely see it, but I can feel it in my bones. Can I make myself believe it? Is this the so um, we have all seen what can be done and what can be achieved in a very short space of time with the support of the, the fans. Um, but we have a very long way to go uh, and so we really need to ensure that that support continues. So to everyone who is already a pledger, thank you very much indeed. For anyone who is still undecided, can I just ask you to think about it. Thank you. Not really cold enough for snow.